Shares of ChargePoint are surging today after strong results, but they're still about 50 percent down from their 52-week highs. So they're up 8 percent on the session, down 53 percent from the year highs, as I mentioned. And they're not alone. EVGo, the EV uh, uh, charging play as well, is down 62 percent from its 52-week high. Blink Charging down 48 percent. Analysts blame the weakness on less than expected funding for EV items in the Senate version of the infrastructure bill. So why is ChargePoint so bullish, raising its third quarter guidance and seeing sunnier skies ahead? Let's ask the CEO. Joining me now is Pasquale Romano of ChargePoint. It's great to have you. Welcome. Thank you so much, Kelly, for having us. Why do you think the sentiment is all of a sudden turning a corner here? Uh, you know, I mean, we've seen this trend. I don't think it's really turned a corner. I think it's really starting to uh, be realized that, that we're in early mass market with EV adoption. And that's evidenced by uh, the strong results we, we just turned in. If we're in early adoption of the EV market, does that necessarily mean that EV charging stocks will do well? Or is there too much competition uh, and uncertainty around what exactly the charging network and economics will look like? Uh, well, for us, we're a tech company. So we sell um, software subscriptions to form a network. We sell each business those software subscriptions and the associated chargers. So we link them all together into a network. Uh, and, and we're seeing very strong demand across all sub-verticals uh, in, in the industry. And I think that's evidence, that's evidence that businesses are seeing uh, EVs show up in their parking lot and they're engaging accordingly. Uh, and so for us, it's all about execution. Right now, it's about grabbing that scale and, and, and just continuing to execute and taking advantage of the demand. So to be clear, are your clients and customers any kind of business who wants to have charging stations on their property, or are they actually charging stations, uh, the hardware themselves? Uh, it's any well. It's any business that wants to to put charging on their property. We will obviously consult with the business on the appropriate uh, type of charger to put on the property, and then the hallmark of our business obviously is the charge point network, which we um, uh, bill to our business customers uh, on an annual basis per port of charging that they 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 put a, they put in their parking lot. So it's a recurring revenue business. Yes, and us. I know a lot of the uh, bulls like the name because they think it's almost like an Uber or an Airbnb. You provide the hardware, you provide sort of the, um, the software management, but without necessarily uh, getting too much into the economics of things. What about con competition and consolidation? In the early days of any industry, we see a ton of different players, a ton of different names. No one's really sure which horse to bet on as the one that will really be coming out ahead in five years' time, let's say. Well, Kelly, I think that's just natural. That, as, you, as you're implying, it's very natural at the beginning of an industry to just not understand uh, who's going who's gonna to be able to get through uh, the, uh, the transition to uh, scale company. At, 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 and this market is breathtakingly large when you anything associated with transportation is breathtakingly large. Um, you've seen us announce uh, very recently two acquisitions. One's closed. One will uh, likely close sometime in the fall. So, um, you know, consolidation is definitely part of the equation here, I think, as an industry. Uh, but really what it's about is execution and yeah. selection of the right business model. A quick final question. Is Tesla a competitor? If they open the super, you know, Brian Sullivan did a great look at how much better that technology is than a lot of the other options out there right now. If they open it up to everybody, does that undercut your business model? Uh, no, not at all. Um, we actually uh, are, are very much in the fast charge business. Tesla's supercharger network largely deals with one sub-vertical, which is when you're driving beyond your battery range. The everyday charging uh, is certainly uh, mostly handled by ChargePoint uh, in North America, and we're making great strides in, in Europe uh, with our customer base growing there. Uh, and if you uh, yeah. look at our focus in that particular segment of driving beyond your battery range, that fast charge segment, mm -hmm. when you need to go quickly, the driver needs something to do because while it's a fast, fast yeah. charge, you have 10 to 15 minutes. So we're focusing on the fueling and convenience right. players that, that have served that fueling uh, business for a long time.